Today, we're taking a look at Unpivot within SQL. Now, a few things you should know before we start coding an example. First off, what it's gonna allow you to do is change different columns into rows. Also, Unpivot is part of the from statement. It's actually a line below, and there's some syntax associated with it that you will have to memorize, but I'll teach you how you can do it pretty easily. And lastly, you need to have the same data types within your table to perform an Unpivot. An example that I'm gonna be showing you guys, I have everything as integers. With that in mind, I'm gonna jump on my computer and let's start working on this together. So for this example, we're gonna be taking a look at a table called Rockville Ratings. It's a music festival in Florida. And I put the four headliners for the 2023 uh, concert. So we have Slipknot, Avenged Sevenfold, Pantera, and Tool. Fortunately, I couldn't go to it this year, uh, but these reviewers over here, there's 10 reviewers, they're able to go and they rated the different headliners. So you can see, for example, Reviewer 1 gave Slipknot a 9, Avengers Sunfold 8, Pantera 7, and Tool a 7. Uh, reviewer 7, for example, thought Slipknot was really good, gave him a 10, didn't like Avengers Sunfold, thought Pantera and Tool were decent with 8s. And then, like, Reviewer 9 hated Pantera, I guess, I uh, was upset that they had a reunion, and then gave everyone else 8s. So we're going to be doing the unpivot on this table over here. And essentially what we're going to have is a reviewer. Then we're going to have the band over here as part of a column and then also the rating. So this table is going to be completely transformed. So how you can do that is we can just go down over here and let's start off with our select statement. The first thing that you need to have also is your reviewer here on the left because that's going to stay the same. So we're just going to put reviewer. And then we're going to also have two more columns. Essentially, we're going to have a band and then also the rating. And since they're not going to be in this Rockville ratings table, we are going to get uh, red lines underneath it. But don't worry too much about that. And I don't need that comma over there. And then we're going to put from and copy this over here. So reviewers should go away, uh, but these two are still going to have issues. No big deal. So what we're gonna do next is gonna put unpivot like this, and we're gonna open this up over here just like that. And now is the fun part. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put rating. So rating is gonna be these numbers that are underneath over here. We're gonna put four, and we're gonna put band, then in, and then we're gonna put the different columns over here. So let's put Slipknot. Let's put Avenged Sevenfold. Oops. Avenged Sevenfold. Pantera. And also Tool. Just like that. And lastly, we need to put an alias on here. So essentially, we can name it whatever we want. I'm just going to put like RB, kind of like that and we'll have that error message go away. And we can run this now. I should also mention if you wanna put your alias over here in case you actually have more parts of this query in the future, you can just put things like this, rb.band, rb.rating, and then you could even put rb.reviewer and that'll work over here too. So kind of weird, um, but that's how it specifically works. And then if you select this over here, you can now see that we have the reviewer over here on the left, then we have the band, and then we also have the rating. So you can see reviewer 1112222333. And this table has been completely uh, reformed because remember from a little bit earlier, take a look at this, right? We have the one reviewer over here, and then we have all of those over here. So, like calculation wise, it's much easier to now do some calculations based off of this reviewer. So, like, if I wanted to find the average rating per reviewer, and this one, I would have to add up these four different columns, and then I would have to divide by four. But now with this over here, I can just sum the rating and group by reviewer. So just to show you how that would specifically work, all I have to do is something like this, right? So I could do average rating like this, and then down below after I pivot, we could do group by and then put over here the rb.reviewer. Now you can see which reviewers are tough, which ones are not. So like we have a bunch of sevens over here, an eight, seven, eight, eight, and seven, and seven. We could also do like a minimum. So like 
you can see what the lowest a reviewer gave. So put that over here. You can see five, a six, seven, seven, six, seven, six, six, four, and also a seven. We can do max. And you can see there's two tens, eight, nine, 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 eight, eight, nine, nine. But if we go back over here, like if we were going to try to find the max on this side of things, it would be a lot more complicated because we'd have to take a look at the max of each of these columns and then compare it based off of each reviewer. Over here, it's kind of a simple statement on that side of things, but but that's just based off of how we were able to format this specifically. So if we go back over here now, and I'm gonna get rid of this group by reviewer, you can see how this is working. We could also order by bands if we really wanted to. So I could just do over here, order by, oops. And then I'll just copy rb.band. And if we run this, now you can see Avenged Sunfold over here and we have the reviewers one through 10. So you can see all the different ratings, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, nine, eight, nine, Pantera, Slipknot, Tool. So you can have that side of things. We can also order by rating. We can do this. And if we run that, now this is an ascending, but we could also put descending and see the tens. So. Reviewer seven thought Slipknot was the best. The reviewer eight was a big tool fan. He gave that as 10. Reviewer eight also really liked a Ben Sunfold and gave it a nine. And just like other queries, we could also put a where clause. So we could put like where rating is less than six. So let's see everything that was poorly rated by reviewers. And you can see two people were not fans of the Pantera reunion. So after applying Unpivot, you can essentially treat this as a table, do what you want and crunch the numbers that you need. And one last time on how this specifically works. So we have our basic select statement over here. Then we have Unpivot. Then we have the statement in over here. So what this rating does, if we go back over here, is it grabs these numbers, these integers. So whatever is underneath these columns that you wanna start adding in, and this example is rating. Then we have four band, which is the headers for each of these columns in, and then you have to specifically say which ones that you would like to use. So in this example, I have the four, I have Slipknot, Avenged Sentinel, Pantera, and Tool. You can see how we have the four over here, and I put them all specifically in here. So that way we can grab the rating, which is underneath, for band, which is at the very top, in, and then it has that list over here. And just to show you, for example, what would happen if I got rid of tool. So let's say I got rid of tool over here and I'm not gonna comment that out. I'm just gonna put it like this. And now if I run it, you can see tool is gone. So specify specifically what columns you'd like to show in here and that will work on that side of things. Hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. By the way, I have another advanced video over here where I go over pivots in SQL.